Hello friends, I am Sachin, working as a software architect. I am very much excited today to start a new series on Angular Micro Frontends. So without wasting much more time, let's start. In today's session, we are going to see what is Angular Micro Frontends, why and how. So why Angular Micro Frontends? So first of all, we will see what is a monolithic application. So without, you know, just uh, jumping into the monolithic application, I just wanted to give you the idea about the monolithic application. So just let's create one monolithic application. So I'm into uh, Visual Studio Code now. So we'll see like uh, one path for creating uh, monolithic application. So I'll open a folder. I'll go to this folder, center, select, and I'm here. So I trust this. So <clears throat> I wanted to create a monolithic application at this location. So I'll just type ng new monolithic, sorry, monolithic app. So it will definitely take more time because, yes, we want CSS. So uh, let it be running. Uh, once finished, you know, we'll come to this monolithic app. Uh, meanwhile, we'll switch to the PPT and we'll talk about monolithic application. Monolithic application is a single application, which is uh, <coughs> very hard to scale because, uh, you know, everything resides into a single application. Uh, as far as you all know, till today, most of the applications are monolithic applications. We maintain all entire enterprise code in a single application so which you know at the beginning <coughs> seems very simpler but gradually it becomes very messy we even cannot think about modifying that code even you know when uh, there is any reason to hire a new engineers and train them it becomes very much complex so for that reason you know there should be a way to handle all these issues like creating entire code into a single application is very much tough and to maintain that is again very much tough. Uh, we cannot scale those applications because uh, deploying those applications is again a tough. Building those applications will take much more time because these are, these are huge applications. But what about uh, micro frontends? In, in case of micro frontends, the team scalability like multiple teams can work, work independently to contribute multiple systems which is absolutely correct no need to uh, talk on that uh, prospect because these are uh, small small applications so in each small application an entire new team can work uh, the, my, these micro frontends are you know technology agnostic uh, agnosticism so means what like micro frontends architecture is independent of technology like we don't uh, we don't need to consider only one technology. We can create applications in any technology, like one application is React.js, one application is Vue.js, one application uh, is in Angular, and we can host all of these applications under one application, and which is possible in the, in case of micro frontends. So you can use multi multiple components from different technologies. These applications, like micro frontend applications, are small applications so we can learn those very very much easily apps are independent like these are small small applications so these applications are independent applications the entire team is working on that specific applications so th those apps are you know very much uh, <clears throat> scalable and uh, those apps are like you know um, we can monitor we can scale and we can work you know it becomes much faster because these are uh, small small independent applications so uh, uh, let's see whether you know that monolithic application got created no it's still running so we'll wait for some time again so what is micro frontend then so uh, like martin flower defined a micro frontend as an architectural style which is correct because this is an architectural style we want to we want to achieve something which is currently like resides in a single applications we don't want that 
uh, everything is depend on one application we don't want that dependency so we need a architecture style where independently deliverable front-end applications are composed into a greater whole means what we need a independent front-end applications like which which are small small applications and at the end we can combine all those small applications into a great whole application so like like in micro front ends architecture we have a one host or a container then we have micro front ends like small small applications and we have like i'm going to consider here webpack for you model federation plugin for micro front ends architecture so so our, uh, so try to understand the architecture there should be a one host or a container application which will be responsible to host rest of rest of all micro front end applications like small small applications let's see whether yeah so this app is ready we can see monolithic application so i wanted to see uh, show you like how we create a monolithic app first so this is a first app so <clears throat> At first i'll go to the app model i'll just remove everything which is not required here so before that i'll just want to uh, just one command that is ngs like i just wanted to micro front end says sorry yeah we wanted to switch to monolithic app and then i we have to start the application we just don't want that so we have executed i am here in the app component.html file i just wanted to remove the unwanted things which we don't want to display onto the ui so this is which is not required this entire resources content um, welcome so i think we don't need we'll save it here this widget title is running resources link rocket ship we require so we don't need till here so we'll go here and we'll check the localhost 300 so this is a monolithic app and which is running now perfect so we'll add uh, you know couple of models to it so again uh, ng which is angular g for generate m for model i want to add a products model so products i want routing so i suggest a route uh, then route should be products again i want to register this route with app dot module first we'll see like what it generates so this will generate one product model which is routing then module then component ts cs and it will update the app routing model all right so we want exactly the same so we'll remove dry run and we'll execute this command so we have added here products model we can see that same way we'll add one more model which is called ngm and suppose we want to add cards then again we want route for this as cards we want to register this with model app dot module and just run this so again it has created one cards model so before jump into that we'll go again to the app.html and here we'll add here it's a welcome then here we'll add one anchor tag and the first anchor tag will be uh, products uh, the products uh, should uh, <coughs> uh, have style color sorry color I want white 
margin to left should be uh, considered for now uh, 2rm so let's save this uh, add one more and that should be sorry if I start that we must tell that router link which is of type again slash products so that whenever we click on this it should route to the products URL again we'll add another one that should be for cards cards we'll save everything and again call ngs so we have added here the router link so first of all we'll see what models so in a single applications we can see we have added two models one is cards another one is products this way we can have a multiple n number of models okay like orders you know and the list goes on and on and on so first of all we'll see what we have done so far we'll refresh it we can see two new types like one is products and another one is cards. when i uh, click on products nothing happens when i click on cards the cards are getting loaded so uh, we'll have to see what we are missing it should be not product it should be products and then save this so now if i click products works cards works so this way actually uh, there should be a multiple applications like if i ng g generate gm again there should be orders then uh, i want routing for this uh, again that should be orders i want to register this entire model with app dot module and again we'll see like what it generates so i'll dry run it will again routing then module and component and routing it looks perfect for me so i'll remove d i'll start it again and if you can see we have added three models here one is cards orders products this way so this is a monolithic application so in a monolithic application we can see that we have added all the models inside a single applications and they have their own modules they have their own routing you know and it got registered with again the main model which is app model we can see here app routing model in inside app routing model when we go we can see uh, currently it has registered with product model uh, so that way you know the products model they have their components in orders orders model they have their orders component they, they this way you know <coughs> they have their own modules which is responsible so, but the code becomes messy because everything is residing inside a single application so which is not good because uh, uh, this way if we have to add multiple models so there should be n number of models and multiple teams are working inside a single applications which is not a good idea at all so that's the reason uh, i i thought you know we should start a micro front end series so that you know uh, if, that you all should understand what is micro front ends and how it becomes very easy to work on a, a small applications so now we'll see about the micro front ends so i have just created one small uh, uh, project for this so we have seen that this this entire is for <coughs> uh, monolithic application so that way you know uh, and without wasting time you know i have just created one small application for micro front ends so, so i'll just uh, close this folder i'll go here and i'll take this session one and i'll open this open folder i'll go it here and select the folder sorry i think something is wrong here so again i'll close the folder open the folder i'll go here I'll here I'll here and i'll select the folder so so here uh, you can see there is one host applications which is just responsible to host the rest of the micro front ends. so we have just here um, one products that way we can create 
ng new uh, again the second should be cards so i have added up my do we need uh, routing yes of course we do need do we need css yes and you can see here we have one host application they, and there are two different macro front ends one is products application and another one is cards application this product and card will be hosted inside this container application called host application so this way micro front end works this way if there are n number of modules then we can create a different different projects for each module and we host inside a single application uh, which is a host and these individual applications are running on on containers or wherever you want to deploy these are independent application so it is very easy to test easy to scale up because uh, it might happen that orders application or the cards application uh, sometimes on weekends it goes uh, very high so we can scale that sm small application only entire scaling up the end all the applications we can scale up the individual application independent application so that is the reason uh, it is good to have a micro front ends so will i hope you have clear with this so will then there are certain ways through which we can achieve micro front ends sort of which one is iframes through nginx web components are angular elements angular libraries monorepos there are customized orchestrators webpack file webpack file module federation which we are going to use and we'll see we how we can achieve uh, micro front ends and will definitely enjoy this uh, series and in next next lecture we'll set up a project and <clears throat> uh, we'll start creating a micro front ends and we'll see how we can integrate and uh, you know uh, add to a host application and we'll go this series from scratch so